Well, I left you in this room and we're not gonna be here for much longer. We are heading down to London for a night at the Savoy. Um, very excitingly, we are going to the premiere of The Crown. Now, if you don't remember, <laughs> I discovered historical dramas when we were in lockdown. Um, first of all, it was Downton Abbey that got me into sort of more historical dramas. Then I was watching things like Anne with an E, we watched Bridgerton obviously, we watched Sanderton, I believe it was called. Basically all of the things on Britbox. I became obsessed. Now obviously The Crown is now moving into more modern day, but um, I've loved it. Obviously it's a bit controversial, the royal family don't particularly um, love what it shines a light on and there's been a bit of controversy recently, but it has been a very popular um, TV show and as long as you don't take it as gospel I think that's important but I'm looking forward to the premiere this evening I've got my dress I've got my bags packed what I am gonna do though is um, just basically take you with me for this because I think it's gonna be very very enjoyable I've also got a day in London tomorrow I have my final appointment with my doctor, Mr. Malucci. I have a very exciting meeting with Karen Millen. It's a very early one. We don't often do meetings this early. We're gonna be meeting some of the higher teams and just like basically planning for the future, hopefully, fingers crossed. And um, then I've got another meeting as well. Oh, I'm meeting with the Like to Know It people and it's gonna be a busy day, which I'm looking forward to as well. I'm looking forward to being in London for that. So I'm gonna get my suitcase closed up jump in the car and head down to London. The one thing I did want to say is I'm just gonna pop in a little haul that I did, um, bef well, I did when I came back from here because I think you're probably gonna to want to see it now. It's one of my favorite hauls that, that I get to do at this time of year because it's all of those essential things that you need. So I'm gonna pop that in here and then I'm gonna jump in the car and head to London. Uh, good morning. I hope it's okay that I slot in this section here. I'll be super quick, but also show you one of the hauls that I'm kind of always the most excited about this time of year because this is quite possibly the one product that has made the biggest difference in my autumn winter wardrobe and how it looks how i keep my looks more streamlined i don't get bulky um i don't struggle fitting things underneath my coats because of these particular pieces and so i wanted to give you a deep dive basically into the Intimissimi knitwear collection and i basically have a restock of this collection every kind of year because I wear them so much and I wear them to within an inch of their lives, sometimes I'll have to replace some pieces. So I've got a selection of colours. I basically wanted to um, fill in the gaps with my Intimissimi knitwear collection. So these bits of knitwear are a blend of cashmere. They've got a cashmere blend to them, which means that that element of cashmere keeps you so warm. And yet it's almost like wafer thin. So it's this real sleek and elegant base layer that just makes all of the difference in my autumn winter wardrobe. I am never cold when I have the Intimissimi knitwear under my dresses. Do you know what? I really hope one day they make like a, a legging version that you can almost put underneath longer dresses. I would love that. Just before we get into the haul, of course, as always with Intimissimi, I have a discount code. It will get you 30% off on everything that's full, full priced on the Intimissimi website at the moment. It's valid until midnight on the 22nd of November and the code is Lydia30. I will pop all of the information on screen and in the description box. So anything that you want to know will be in there, but if you wanted to pick up any of the pieces that I'm about to show you, then you can use it now. But if you already have a wish list, I know lots of you message me asking for discount codes for Intimus Me all the time. If you already have a wish list, you can head on over there now. You can skip this part, but don't skip it. Don't, because I think you're going to want to add what I'm about to show you into your cart if it's not already there. I thought I would show you these pieces first. Did I bring up the other colour? Did I bring up the other? Did I not bring it up? I definitely did, I hate it. So this one I've already worn. <laughs> and I think you can probably see why. This is a real kind of perfect shade for underneath those richer, more Merlot toned uh, items in your wardrobe, by the way, it's like a cashmere jumper dress or whatever. This is the autumnal color of dreams and you can see the way it moves. It is such a soft and lightweight base layer. I mean, obviously you can wear this as a top as much as you, I, I mean, I've worn them as tops as well, but for me, this is this is the secret. I feel I feel like nobody's talking about this, and they should be because 
This changed the game. This long sleeve design means that whatever I'm wearing, I've got the full benefit of that cashmere blend keeping me cozy. So this is probably my favorite color. And I have obviously, like I said, I couldn't wait. So I ripped into the box. So I've got this kind of Merlot color. And I'm just gonna show you all the colorways and probably like quickly try them on over a pair of leggings so that you can see what they look like on just as a basic but in general if I've got a like jumper dress on I have one of these underneath I'll wear them when I'm on dog walks I'll wear them if I'm out in London even if like when I go on nights out I have to have one of these especially around the festive period if you're planning on wearing a long sleeve dress this Christmas I've got you covered basically ivory color is definitely a good basic shade to go with in my humble opinion they're so fitted and so flattering on. They sort of cling to everything. So like I said, you don't get that bulky kind of finish to them. They also do every single skin color you could like wish for as well, if you want to go for that more nude look. Of course, I wasn't going to, I mean, look at me, look at me. <laughs> but of course I wasn't gonna leave the sage out, but this is a slightly different style. And it actually comes in a number of different styles. So you can get vest versions, which I wear a lot in the transitional season. So like spring and autumn, I'll probably have a vest. Um, they also do the roll neck version. So if you're if you're prone to like getting a cold neck, which if I ever put my hair up, I need something around my neck because this is like my hat and scarf. Um, so again, this is a really, really good option for wearing when it gets really cold, I would say. But this color, chef's kiss. Um, so that's the sage. And then we've got a little pink number. I think this just shows you that you're able to kind of get a color for everything you could possibly be wearing. And that for me is a game changer. So we've got that beautiful pink, little pink and green going on there. The black is obviously what I would say is the best in terms of my wardrobe for this time of year, um, because I wear a lot of really quite elegant, chic black outfits and um, having the roll neck version or the slash slashed neck version is um, exceptional and an essential I would say but I just I love looking I feel like that is the most accurate sort of depiction of how soft these are and if I were to show you that so these aren't necessarily the most opaque of products but that is to me this is a functional rather than like necessarily aesthetic although you can layer these up a lot as well so that's the black and then we have this beautiful jade number as well um, in the roll neck, which looks phenomenal. I love the depth of that. It's actually quite festive as well. I just love that. So I have some other bits and pieces that I'm gonna quickly show you as well, because I just, I'm just obsessed, okay? I'm obsessed. The whole like Intimis Me Chalcedonia group, not only do they do beautiful, delicate um, lingerie in the like Intimis Me side of things, but everything is functional and that's what I like. I just don't have the time to be wearing something that looks great and isn't doing anything. Do you know what I mean? Like a bra that just looks great is useless to me in all honesty. Tights that just look great are useless to me. I want to feel like I'm supported in my tights. I want to feel like they're robust and I wear a lot of tights. So the Chalcedonia ones for me are the best. That's my humble opinion. Um, you're welcome to your own opinion, but also, I love fresh pajamas. I love nothing more than swanning around my home in a lovely pair of pajamas, maybe having a cheese and wine evening, and just doing all of the things that I love whilst being really comfortable but feeling incredibly lovely. I mean, look at me in this. So I picked up and stocked up on some more of the uh, Chalcedonia tights. Now I generally go for their total shapers because like I said, I like to feel supported, um, and it just makes me feel like I'm not, you know, falling out everywhere. Old followers will remember when I was wearing them back to front and I was essentially enhancing my tummy and flattening my bottom, which these total shapers actually are supposed to enhance your bottom and flatten your tummy. So I've got the 30 denim, so I actually don't like anything too thick. Uh, as much as possible throughout the winter, I like to go as sheer as possible. I just think it, it provides a nice amount of depth to an all black outfit. So I've stocked up on those. Um, oh, we also have a different one here. I think this is a super sheer. Oh no, this is uh, the 80 denim. This is for when it gets really chilly. So we've got some 80 denim in there. Then we've also got some 30s, which I swear by. They're just the best. And then we have the best of the best a stock up of the Intimissimi silk pajamas. Now this year, I've decided 
to size up in these. I decided, what size did I go for? I decided to go, I think like a whole size up basically. Yes, yeah, so I think I usually get the extra small and I've gone for the small this year because I just wanted it a little bit more slouchy, even more comfortable. So I've gone for the ivory. We love a winter white, okay? We love a winter white. I've gone for the classic black, again. You just can't go wrong. You just cannot go wrong. And these are their 100% silk pajamas as well. The detailing around the edge is not silk, but this, the fabric that is gonna to be touching your skin and looking after your skin is 100% silk. So we have the black version, again, I always feel like the way this moves is a testament to the quality and the, the, the sheer pride that the Italians take in lingerie, sleepwear, in everything they do. The Italians, the, the saying isn't the Italians do it better for nothing. <laughs> so beautiful silky pajamas in black. It's always a long sleeve and bottoms kind of uh, time of year at like winter time. So I, I'm not really hugely into short sleeves or any kind of negligee things. I am definitely a classic pyjama at this time of year. We've got the navy. I think the navy could make a very good Christmas day pyjamas just to be something a little bit different to the typical red um, because our Christmas tree this year is um, a bit of a classic. So yes, yeah, so we've got the navy with the beautiful ivory pipe detailing as well, which I love. And I have stocked up. I have well and truly stopped underwear shopping. It just makes my life so much easier when I have all of the different pieces. So these are my favorite like underwear options. So these are the seam free. They're kind of like, they're not necessarily, well yeah, I'd say that these are more of like a thong than a G string, but these are invisible, like completely invisible. So anything bodycon, anything that is a little bit sheer or we're being a little bit, um, I don't know, sexy, this is what I wear. It, they are also comfortable. There is, there is nothing cutting in. They come in a multitude of different skin tones as well, which I think is really, really wonderful. It's such a USP um, and just, I like to have multiples because I'm constantly, whether I'm traveling and I have to grab some underwear and shove it in a suitcase, if I've got a shoot and I've got to grab different underwear options and shove it in a suitcase, or just having enough to last me through the week as well, because fresh underwear should be top priority. <laughs> so we've got some of those as well. Oh my gosh, I have well and truly stocked up. So we have more of the base layers as well. I don't need to show you those, but do I have any of the vests? Oh, just to show you as well, these are some of the other more neutral colors. Um, these I had last year and I wear this a lot as well. This is a really great one for just maximum invisibility, but warmth underneath your clothes as well. So lots of lovely bits in here. Oh, and we have these. Ooh. Um, this more champagne. This is like a New Year's Day or New Year's evening. Like if you're like me and I love celebrating New Year's, I love getting sparkly and dressed up and just, um, having a really wonderful soiree basically but after midnight it's definitely pajamas on still enjoying the champagne but pajamas on and i think having appropriate pajamas is definitely important you know how i feel about christmas day pajamas and also now new year's day pajamas or new year's eve for that matter i will link everything in the description box down below and obviously i'm going to pop on um my little base layers to show you those just to show you how they fit and just just so you're aware of like the the opacity, how they fit, and the sort of thinness of the fabric in terms of how perfect it sits as a layering piece as well. So I'm gonna show you that now. I'll link everything in the description box down below. As I mentioned at the beginning of this section, I do have a discount code. It's Lydia30, it gets you 30% off uh, items at a full price until midnight on the 22nd of November. So it's a perfect time to stock up. The cold snap is coming and um, you're gonna want some base layers and some cozy pajamas and some pants and some tights <laughs> in your wardrobe. So anyway, back into the video. We're heading down to London. All of the cozy vibes. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
lovely road this is. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do you know what? How fitting is this? <laughs> I know, exactly. This is perfect. Have I chose the right route today? Yeah. So, yeah. Echo nailed the ground, it. So. <laughs> Intimissimi. For the Intimissimi video, you cannot write this. <laughs> Thank you for doing the most and <laughs> providing the goods on my sponsored content life. This is the good life right here. We have just arrived to the Savoy, which we will be going home for the evening. It's a bit miserable out there today, but unfortunately we have not got a little section yet. Yeah, undercover. Always in the hot tap. We have just arrived to the Savoy. What a wonderful journey we had here. Um, we went through all of the sort of like the sights to see in, in London. We've arrived and our room's not ready just yet, so we've come to the River Restaurant by Gordon Ramsay. I've never eaten here before. Um, and we're gonna go and order some food because we're both absolutely ravenous. So I'll show you the menu. Do you know what you're having? Fish burger. Sounds epic. Ooh, that would be like a, a very yeah. bougie filet of fish. <laughs> so, fish burger sounds good. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna have that. Well, we have arrived to another spectacular river view suite at the Savoy, but this time we are higher up, so we're on the seventh floor and we have even more stunning, spectacular views over London. My goodness me. And even when it's slightly gray and the heavens have been opening, just look at the view. How wonderful. So as before, this is the study area. We have the powder room, which we always very much welcome. Mr. Millen Gordon stood in the hallway. Just trying to keep out of the way. The sitting area, we've also got some little bits and pieces from the Savoy. So we've got Savoy trivia. Oh my gosh, we have to take that home. Yeah, yeah we have to take that home. A notepad, we've also got an umbrella because obviously a different season now and it is slightly wet out there. And a waterproof bag as well. We've got some macarons, some little chocolatey bits and a lovely warm welcome from the team as well. Then we move into the bedroom, the spectacular bedroom, complete with little dressing table, more beautiful views, and a beautiful almost walnut or mahogany bed, stunning. And through into the bathroom, the bathroom with roll top bath, his and hers sinks, and of course the wonderful Quercus from Penhaligons, which smells stunning. This is what I'm wearing at the moment. I've still got my hair. I'm literally just gonna throw on my dress. I've got some content to film quickly, and then we, we hope to get another get ready together um, this evening for TikTok, but um, fingers crossed we have enough time because we are cutting it fine at the moment. Well, we have been busy at work in our room. Not really had much time to enjoy it. We've just been shooting pictures and working, but obviously enjoyable stuff. We're now about to get ready. We're gonna film a couple's get ready with us um, for Ali's TikTok, I believe. But whilst Ali is getting ready, I am enjoying the views over London. This is like a be real moment. This is on the other side of what I'm doing. <laughs> And look at those skies. We've got views of Big Ben just there and the Houses of Parliament. We've got the London Eye, the Royal Festival Hall. It is just wonderful. And it's just, I don't know what it is about the Thames. I mean, it's not the loveliest of water, but when you just sit and watch it, it's very calming. I think water just has that 
effect in general. It's a very calming presence in what is a very hectic city, I would say, and it's just lovely being by it. Well, I am dressed for the evening and I'm wearing the Prima Ballerina dress, as I have named it, um, for the evening with some satin, like blush toned Manolos. My good old Lady Dior. And my fragrance of the evening is Air in Amber Musk. I actually think that they've changed the juice just a little bit and it's kind of got this blush tone to it. It is so beautiful, I actually can't cope. Even more beautiful than all of the other years. So if you need to stock up, if you need to stock up this year for Christmas or whatever, this bottle is so beautiful. Well, that was a very long, no, that was a very quick thud back to comfort. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was incredibly uncomfortable in my dress. Basically, my dress is a sample. I think I told you this already. Yeah, so I was a little bit, a little bit tight in it. I don't know if this is gonna be good light here. Is this good light? Oh, I want it to be good light, and I don't think it is. So, I have many thoughts. And um, first of all, <laughs> we watched the first episode and we watched the second episode, no, the third episode. And when you are watching this, you'll be able to watch all of them if you haven't already. We started off having like champagne. I didn't vlog anything. I'm so annoyed at myself, but we were with Freddie, Freddie my love. Um, I met um, Nicholas Fairford, who I have been a huge fan of for such a long time. Um, Paula from Hill House Vintage was there. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't know you'd seen her. Yeah, I did. Yeah, we just got that. We just got the best picture. Amelia Liana was there. We got the best picture of all of us together. It was honestly so wonderful. And when I'm like that, I just, I just love catching up because I've realised if I try and do too many things, I'm not able to be like really present in the conversation. I also got to meet Amelia's uh, sister for the first time, so it was really lovely speaking to her. Jeremy Lynch, his his wife, Matthias. We saw him. Loads, oh, and I saw Rowan as well. Did he find you? Yes, he did. So many people, it was honestly so lovely. And then we were sat next to two designers when we were actually watching The Crown and um, just, it was so lovely meeting so many people. And the one thing, and I said this earlier on in my video, is that I watch The Crown knowing full well that this is based around true events, but the majority of what is in this, I'm sure has been fluffed up for entertainment purposes, basically. But what I really love about it is that it puts certain stories and events from history back on your radar. Maybe you missed it when it happened or whatever. And you can go and learn something fascinating. And I think, I don't want to give any spoilers, but in the third episode, which I think is one of the most magical episodes that I've ever watched, it heavily focuses on the al family. There was so much I didn't know, and I'm obviously gonna go away and do my Googles and, and, and learn a little bit more about them, but I totally fell in love with Muhammad al -Fayed. Like, just such a silly, silly old man, but also just very formidable and lovely as well. Um, and just so many interesting storylines. But like I said, it's, it's not, I don't ever view this as factual and I think that that's the important thing with it is that 
it's all I think I say it quite a lot on my channel is that the importance of going away and, and sort of doing your own research into things when you are presented with a story I think that that is such a valuable mind frame to have around anything and I love learning about history and I think that this this whole series not only does it um, it gives you good leads, I'd say. Yeah, really good it leads. Like, I want to go and... and then you can go and try to... I mean, the, do you know what the the ultimate truth is? Yeah. We're talking about behind closed doors activity. Yeah. Which means that even those that were involved in the moment, everything's a perspective. Yeah, exactly. So even their story will differ from those that yeah. received the conversation. Absolutely. So the, the, the real true truth of any intimate yeah. situation will never be shown yeah brought to life so yeah. unless it was recorded on video absolutely whatever. yeah and i and and i think that you know even just the story of sydney i want to learn more about sydney yes what a wonderful wonderful story and human by the sounds of things and i so i'm, I'm so excited to learn more about him because honestly that mo that part really I, I was nearly crying in the room where we were but it was yeah i just think it's it's one of those things that it's so immersive in British culture as well, and it really is the the sort of epicenter and um, almost like a fly on the wall into so many intrinsic parts of British culture. I'd say it's it's truly truly wonderful, um, but I know it's a controversial one. Like I said this morning when I spoke to you, it is a controversial one, and people have very differing views, um, and I just think. If you're watching it, just always have at the forefront of your mind that this is not a fact. So it shouldn't damage any reputation of the people that you're watching. It shouldn't influence that in any way. It's not essentially facts. It's just kind of based on the events. Um, and I think that they're talking about putting a disclaimer or I think um, Dame Judy Dench was talking about how she thinks that they should put a disclaimer at the beginning. Um, I just think I'm always really bad because I just think that that's kind of it's just knowledge isn't it like it's not going to be a hundred percent true because it's a it's a spe it's an adaption it's your basic practice yes it's not everybody's. I, I know that's the thing i always think that way but yeah so i would definitely suggest watching it and everyone looks so wonderful tonight and now yeah. i think we're going to order a bit of room service because um a bit or a lot be honest just be honest i don't know what's on offer yet although oh it'll be a full menu do you know what i've never actually looked at the menu because i i actually recited the full breakfast menu. You are not ready for the, the Savoy breakfast menu, babe. Honestly, you're not ready. Okay. It's like 10 pages long. <laughs> Every single... Can we find this, the, the um, room service menu? Because I, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, I found the breakfast book. Oh yeah, 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 that's what I recited. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna order oh, some I food. Think easy to find. That's something that in some hotels I find particularly difficult for yeah. some reason, like they hide it in a drawer. Yeah. So we've got the butler service here as well, but um, we should order some, oh no, we've got ice cold water in the fridge. Oh, we've got a good few pages here. So what is the night menu? When does that come? 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So that's not what we're on. We're on the wine menu, apparently. <coughs> <coughs> I went down the wrong hole. Do you actually have two holes? Did <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you do that one? That went down the wrong one. Oh, oh goodness, are you okay? I've got you need water the on the lungs. <coughs> Do you want to pat on the back? Oh, that wasn't good. Oh wow, so we've got fish and chips, although I'm not going to have that because I had that for lunch. Well, I didn't have fish and chips. I had the, I, we went to um, the Riverside restaurant, which is the Gordon Ramsay restaurant here. And um, we had the salmon burger with brioche buns and chips, and it was very, very good. I've never actually eaten at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Oh no, I have, at Heathrow, I think. And I don't think that's the same. But I honestly, there was in, in the third episode, sorry to keep going back to it, but there's the part where um, Muhammad al Fayed is learning about British culture from his valet. It's just... I feel like I need the valet. Oh, it's magical, isn't it? It's absolutely magical. I think that's part of... It's so funny because fashion nowadays, it's almost completely alien to me. And I really like the more historical fashion and like all of the rules and the common practices and the cultures of, of yeah, dress. That's what I like. Yeah, I love it. I, think well, I, I like the idea of learning about it. Same. I'm very, very uneducated. Same. Person. No, but I love it. I love, I love learning. It's so lovely. Ooh, they do mashed potato. 
that is possibly one of the last things that I would go, ooh, oh, mashed potato. I, I love mashed potato so much that I can just eat mashed potato with ketchup. Ooh, the Savoy classics. Traditional shepherd's pie. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Pumpkin tortelloni. Tortelloni. Tortel no, tortel tortelloni. <gasps> Mac and cheese. That's more like it. Pizza. Our hand stretched pizza dough. Oh my gosh, there's so much good stuff. I'm so sorry that I'm not reading this to you. I know you liked it the last time that I recited the entire breakfast menu. <laughs> Vegan burger, Savoy Club, buttermilk chicken burger, classic butter chicken. So they've got international flavours, a children's menu, sandwiches and burgers, warm sourdough toasty. <gasps> I think that might be the one, you know. Somerset cheddar, Wiltshire ham, and bechamel sauce. Wow. Or Somerset cheddar, black truffle, and bechamel sauce. Or you can have vegan cheese. I, honestly, I feel like the Savoy has an exemplary menu when it comes to allergies, di like diverse cuisines, and vegetarian and vegan options. Anyway, I will tell you what we order in a moment. Good morning from Savoy. I have about an hour to get ready and Ali's still in bed. I have a meeting at 9 a.m. at the Karen Millen offices. So I'm going to hopefully make myself look respectful. I actually don't think I need my light today because the sun is coming up over Big Ben. I tell you what, these views, if you ever have the opportunity to stay in the Riverview Suites here at the Savoy. It is a spectacular experience anyway. But at sunrise and at sunset, wow, you really are spoiled. And Big Ben, I'm so happy Big Ben is back. Remember when we were all like, oh no, Big Ben, he's going away. <laughs> well, now he's back. I'm better than ever. Just getting on my Bi Terry CC serum to give me some colour. I definitely didn't get enough sleep last night. It was a, um, I always get it on the blooming robes. It was definitely a um, 12 o'clock bed bedtime last night. I had the cheesiest dreams last night. And when I say cheesy, I don't mean in like the, um, what's it called? In the cringy sense, it was like cheesy dreams in that they were bizarre and wild. And I woke up like, <gasps> think Ali with another woman. So in other words, I'm kind of in a bit of a mood with him today because he cheated on me in the dreams and I'm not having it. <laughs> I'm joking. But um, yes, busy day, meeting with the team first and then we have to zip across London to um, Maluchi London for my final appointment, which is incredible. And then I also, I'm trying to run in to Harrods to meet with the Tanner Kroll team, which I discovered them through their partnership with Erin this year. They partnered on one of their Wicket handbags and um, they've contacted me to go in and choose one of their bags. This is a bag that I actually genuinely wanted to buy. I want the Wicket as well for summer next year, but the Erin partnership one. And um, so I'm going to try my hardest en route to Malucci to, to pop in there, then meeting with Light to Know It. Then um, I'm getting my brows tattooed. Well, not tattooed, that's the wrong terminology to, to use. I'm having hyperrealism. So what Carrie had done, I'm having it done just because, like I said, um, I, I'm tired. I'm tired of spending a lot of time on like, things that I just can't be bothered to spend a lot of time on, i.e. my brows, which is. So I'm um, just getting the bits where they're a bit sort of sparse filled in and just so that all I have to do in the morning is add a bit of brow gel and that's it. But all I want to be doing, I don't want the faff. And I'm also booked in to have my lip blush done later on in the month. I'm going to Tracy Giles and I'm going because Carrie paid as a customer to go and have her 
brows done and I was so impressed with the work like honestly it's like nothing I've ever seen before the finish is so natural and so fluffy but also the lady that did it is just so lovely um, as well and so talented so I'm really really looking forward to um, seeing how this comes out so I'm going to show you before of my brows and um, then show you the after but very very sort of mismatched day I have also messaged my person at Hermes because I'm really really wanting now I'm like it's annoying me that I don't have um, the CDC belt in black and gold to wear with my Birkin 25 Cellier it's really annoying me because I just like how understated their belts look and I can't get it anywhere I'm honestly I, I think I want to try and get it second hand see if I can find it I'm just worried it's not going to be the same as the one that I've got anyway but verbal diarrhea this morning I am going to crack on and get ready because I'm slowing myself down talking to you and I'm going to show you my view how gorgeous is that and I will see you shortly looking glowy Okay, we are up and dressed. I really wanted to wear the outfit that I wore yesterday down here, but I thought better of it. New day, new outfit. I am wearing, if I can get back far enough, I have a knitted dress from Amazon, which is beautiful. I can't show you the full thing, so I'm running out of time. Uh, boots from Lubuta, Kate boots, yes, and Chalcedonia tights. I've got some M&M leather gloves, Holland Cooper blazer, and my Kelly 28 is out of hibernation officially. My fragrance of the day is Erin, Amber Musk, and I need to get to my first meeting. Right, oh my goodness, I look so disheveled. Um, yeah, I used, a scruff bucket. Yeah, I used, um, what's it called? Waterproof mascara last night, and I've just realized I just can't wear waterproof mascara, because anything that I use to try and take it off just makes my eyes feel really weird. But anyway, we're currently on Regent Street and we're en route to Harrods after what was such a fantastic meeting. Like, I am so, so excited. You have no idea. Like, just having meetings like that with the entire team is just fantastic. And I feel like it really gives like a renewed sense of excitement around like collections that are coming, what the possibilities are and things like that. I just love it. I love that I get to do this every day. I get very excited. Oh, and we also did some final finishing touches to May's collection as well, which is very good. But we're heading to Harrods now because I'm going to the Tanner Kroll. Um, I think that's how you say it. It's a new brand to me. So I'm, I'm getting to grips with it. We're heading there now to look at their bags before I head to my final uh, Malucci appointment yes just to get sign off on the old lady lumps and um then we've got another meeting and then brows and drinks brows and drinks we are just driving up to harrods and i feel like it's even more special after watching last night's episode of the crown because i feel like i have a new obviously i know that muhammad al fire doesn't own it anymore but i have a renewed love of the fact that we have harrods and it was just so wonderful. I, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it just, I'm very excited. <laughs> Well, that was a quick stop in Harrods. We're now on our way to the Tanner Kroll uh, townhouse to look at their wider selection. So I didn't actually get to show you much of Harrods at all, but we're gonna head there now and um, look forward to meeting the team there. So we have arrived to number 70 Cadogan Place. This is their townhouse and even the window display has got me so excited. <gasps> wow, oh my goodness. Okay. So this is a beautiful, yeah. gorgeous white one. I never trust myself with white handbags, but this is absolutely stunning. And this is based on Diana's vanity, which just makes it all the more special and very fitting because of last night's event. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this was the bag that piqued my interest. This is the Wicket bag, but this is the collaboration with Erin. Obviously the tan corners, the trunk-like aesthetic, and those beautiful woven details is absolutely stunning. Think of that for a summer bag is just so gorgeous. 
my goodness, today is an absolute blur. So we ended up going to the wrong place, unfortunately, to meet the team. So it meant we had even more limited time. But what a beautiful brand. So their heritage is basically around um, what well, it started off as um, a saddle makers and then they've moved more into the trunks they ended up making the luggage for the royal family which obviously is a nice little um, synergy but in this video I totally didn't write this okay um, the vanity trunk that I have chosen is actually based on Princess Diana's uh, vanity trunk and it is absolutely exquisite and I really think that this is a brand that again you know when I find those brands that even I get excited about I think that you guys are going to be incredibly excited about this um, they do the most beautiful bespoke trunks as well but all of their bags really do emulate beautiful luggage <laughs> I can't find my words there is so much going on today that I can't find my words um, but hopefully they are going to select they're going to get the bag that was in um because i picked a bag that's basically on display in harrods so they can't just go and take it out of the display cabinet it's the last one left and it's the most beautiful ox blood color and um they're going to be hopefully sending this to me tomorrow so if it does come in time i will unbox it with you otherwise i'm sure i will unbox it on my um instagram or my uh, TikTok, probably my TikTok, you know me. Uh, anyway, on to my next appointment and then I've got a lunch meeting. Oh, I love the colour of that Range Rover. Ah, oh, we have been here many times before. This is the beautiful muse behind the Malucci London head office where Dalesford is. And it's blooming lovely. How gorgeous is this? I feel like I'm seeing all of the beauty of London today and our journey down was the most beautiful ever, so yeah being spoiled for choice. Hi guys. Well, it escalated. It escalated, but also, oh my gosh, so I have been after what is in this bag for such a long time. You have no idea, so I'm trying to close my bag at the same time so that I don't get robbed. Um, and I can't believe it happened. I literally messaged my SA today to be like, I'm in London, have you got it? And he was like, no. And then I went into Harrods the gods shone their divine light upon me. And great pink nail polish on them. Oh yeah, she was just great. I have secured something that I have been after for such a long time. So I'm gonna unbox it when I get home. I might do on TikTok, because at the moment TikTok eats first. But we're now heading to Tracy Giles to have my first hyper-realism appointment. And um, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've arrived and I'm here with Miri, who is the lady that did Carrie's brows and sold this entire experience to me. So basically, as I said to you, I'm having hyper-realism done today because basically I don't want to have to faff with my brows anymore. I spend so much time neatening up the underneath, neatening, neatening up this area here so that they look like sisters rather than distant cousins. And I just don't want to have to faff with them anymore. So I'm hoping today I'm going to just remove an element of my makeup routine and even out my brows, make them look incredibly natural, but also just making my life easier. And I know that I have come to the right person because Miri is an actual artist here at Tracy Giles and she is the best. So I'm in good hands. We're going to talk through exactly what it is that we're going to do today. This is my first um, like treatment and I'll have a follow up as well just to you kind of go for something softer to begin with just so that you're happy and then you usually come back and have a slightly stronger um color put on so that you're just you're just easing yourself into it basically that's what carrie had done anyway but we're gonna talk through what we're gonna have done get get cracking and hopefully new brows for me how crazy now <laughs> it's like a comb over <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, hi. <laughs> Suits you, chick. This is um, a vibe. I love it. <laughs> Night one, crown premiere. Night two, Night two. <laughs> dinner lady. Maybe I'm stuck here, the dinner lady. <laughs> no, you do. You have absolutely flawless skin. You think so? Yeah, oh my goodness. It's also foundation in there. Oh, well, it looks, whatever it is, it, it looks wonderful. And you have lovely coloured eyes. I'm just awkwardly so staring at you now. So do you. <laughs> Hi 
So less is more to start with, but yeah, we're literally going to do a couple hair show for better definition. Yeah, less work for me in the morning. Yeah. And then pre or some couple strokes there, few strokes there. Like soft, innocent one, the baby one. Yes, yeah. yeah. And Should it's not going to be that way? Yeah. You mm -hmm. literally don't, it's not like you need many at all, is it really? No, no just I don't need anything definition. in the brows, it's no. like surrounding the brows to create yeah. the shape. Yeah. I've, got the, I've got the foundation, now it's yeah. down to you to create the, the sort of yeah, shape. Yeah, the finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. always the telltale sort of um, point for me because obviously I look at myself so much on camera and I'm always in this viewfinder I feel like this is where I always notice if there's something that's like different about me and it just feels like my brows have just been done for me in the way that I would do them and I'm already sensing that I'm going to save a lot of time in the morning it just matches in perfectly with the color of my brows and we've gone for a slight bit of fullness above here as well so that I don't have to brush my brows up so much in order to get any shape as well and just perfecting them. I've got good brows so it's not going to be a huge before and after. I know I've got good brows and I've got really strong brows but the problem with having strong brows is that if you have any kind of bald areas or more sparse areas it's really really noticeable. So what I wanted to do was just give them a more perfected look but in a really natural way. I didn't want anything too perfect. It's walking that fine line of natural but doesn't look like you've got a bald patch basically. So that's what I've gone for. They'll obviously settle, I'll book my top up and the next thing I'm coming in for is my lip blush which is very exciting. Um, I'm just looking for ways to just save time in the morning. I'm just I just don't want to be spending time doing my brows, I don't want to be spending time doing my makeup, especially when I do it the same way every single day. So anything that I can do to streamline that process, I am going to take. So anyway, I'll update you in the morning with how they're looking, but they will sort of fade, was it about 30%? 20 to 30% as well, so they'll soften up slightly, but I'm very, very happy. time since we've started a video in the kitchen garden but um, I need to do a big harvest of some tomatoes so I thought I'd bring you with me for it because just for making more chutney making more sauces and things like that and as you can see my plants are on their last legs with the colder weather coming in and I now have my kitchen garden back as well so it's looking really lovely so I don't feel so bad when I'm out here although I'll show you what's currently happening in the greenhouse because the greenhouse is not <gasps> Porter, get off. No. They are little carrot themes, they are. Um, Porter, no. Being a little attention seeker. You're being a little attention seeker. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, so you'll have to see the state of my greenhouse at the moment because um, we have no shed. Mr. Millen Gordon's shed is gone and the well it was supposed to start this week everything is delayed at the moment so i'm going to bring you up to speed on that but for the most part i need to harvest some tomatoes and then show you a little bit around i'm in my pajamas because we've had a lazy saturday morning it's been absolutely wonderful we had friends over last night and um had a lovely roast dinner we had turkey with stuffing inside and potatoes and carrots in the kitchen garden oh it's just delicious so I'm going to harvest some goods. Well, as you can see, that is a very abundant tomato harvest that we have had overlooking the woodland. Um, any of the ones that you can see actually in the bed are probably not the best still, but I have got so much that I think I'm gonna try and make a green tomato chutney and try and put as much of the other tomatoes to good use, but I'm gonna have to get a bigger basket. So 
I've grabbed a Fortnum's picnic basket and I think I will decant them into there for now. Oh my gosh. Goodness me. Mr. Millen Gordon has got the cushions out because today is exceptionally mild and I think we're going to have a little fire pit this evening under blankets. We're going to have cheese and wine, all of the good stuff. This is my loot of tomatoes. My goodness, it is filling this entire Fortnum and Mason basket. I've got a lot of chutney to make with this, but I'm also going to make some pasta sauces and things like that. Sorry about Porty barking. He's just barking. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a jump. I look bizarre. Okay, I've got workout leggings on. These are a pair of Tala leggings and an intermittently very comfortable crop top. I find these just blooming lovely at this time of year. They just fit so, so nicely. But what Ali and I are doing are getting ready for a dog walk, so I thought I would show you one of my favorite colors. These are from the Intermiss Me knitwear collection that I'm working on in this video, and I would have shown you earlier on. Um, but this is a beautiful kind of Merlot color. And the reason why I love these, I buy these every season. So they're quite sheer. The reason for that is they're obviously a base layer. So they're not for something to be worn necessarily as a top. I mean, you could do, you could definitely like pop one of the vests under, underneath or something like that. But these are my secret weapon in winter. I know I would have already told you this, but adding one of these in the beautiful, it's like a cashmere blend um, fabric. It's so soft and it is my layering secret weapon. This under a dress, um, under a jumper, like one of the more knitted jumpers that maybe has holes in, it just provides that like almost like a cocoon and I love them. So Ali and I, well, I'm gonna spend some time out in the garden today, like I said, but also we're planning on going for a dog walk with the boys. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd show you that I just pop this on over a vest, then I'll pop either a cashmere jumper on, then a coat um, or jacket of some sorts, and that is basically my look for the day. I'm also wearing clementine and mint in this beautiful merlot colour. But today has kind of got away from us because Ali and I have spent a rather large amount of time in here mood boarding some bits for his dressing room because one of the things that we are ordering, I think Ali's ordered it already, for his dressing room is a beautiful valet stand. Honestly, they are just so magical and I think it's going to look so perfect in his room so we've basically been mood boarding um, a lot of the bits of furniture and I found this lovely bookcase it's like a spinny uh, side table bookcase so one side he can have antique books for a more beautiful finished look and the other side can keep his favourite fragrances in so it's going to be really functional and it can sit next to his armchair that's going to be in his room but he's got the best of both worlds I'll show you um, what I've been mustering up in my little mood boarding session. So if you can see that, I'm not sure if you can. So that's, it looks a bit pink on here because obviously this is a phone screen, so it will be color corrected. But this is the stand and clay color that Ali has on his walls. And then we've got the, um, the high clear floor. And then I've kind of gone to town on choosing an alternative flooring rug for his dressing room. I wanted something herringbone to still be like a nod to suiting, but not just go down that typical rug route where um, everything's very kind of antique -y. I wanted there to be nods of herringbone in there as well um, with a sort of Merlot trim, but we might change that. This is the little bookcase. So I've popped a little Creed bottle in there and also these, they will be different. And then this is the stunning valet stand. And then we've got his Jim Lawrence lights. This is a print that I ordered before. It was supposed to be for me, but it's looking like it's gonna look better in Ali's office, but we want a bit of a gallery wall with different frames and things like that. So anyway, Mr. Millen Gordon is delaying us by stealing me to come into his office to give him a yes or no on some of the things that he's wanting to get rid of in his wardrobe clear out. I'm gonna sit over here and say yes or no. I think that's lovely. Oh, it's not comfy. Well, that's the difference. It used to be really nice and it's kind of lost its... Okay, so that one needs to go then. This. I never take things away. So I would keep that. You would? I would keep that. Because that's a classic. I need to try it on. Okay. This, I, I want to we are not getting on this dog walk. It's too blue. Because I've, I've got this in a dark navy here. I think that's nicer. It's a different navy. I would keep that. Sneak peek of Ali's dressing room. Well, we've made it out for an evening dog walk. And we are spoilt rotten. Wow, 
with the, uh, the sunset this evening. So we're going to enjoy some time on the walk. I don't think we're going to get much light though. We should have probably bought a, um, a torch with us. Come on boys, come on. Look at those skies. In fact, you can't even appreciate how beautiful they are because my egghead is making it brighter. But look at that, absolutely phenomenal. I can't cope with how beautiful it is. Also, I should probably give you an update on my eyebrows because um, Ali didn't even notice, but that's probably because my eyebrows now just look like they've got pencil on them all the time. I was a bit sort of, I think I was a bit sort of shocked when I first had them done and I'm, I usually have to take a while to, to get used to when I change something on my face. And um, my eyebrows are a real point of contention for me because any false move and I can look like a Groucho mask. So I have to be really careful. And I know that these are gonna fade massively and look a lot more natural. But honestly, I said to you, I was never gonna to touch my brows again. But after seeing Carrie's experience and her getting her brows done and now how she doesn't have to like put anything on her brows, I was like, I want that life. I don't wanna to have to worry about my life and uh, worry about my eyebrows, but also just this bit up here that is creating a much nicer shape. I don't know if you ever remember me talking about it, but it used to make me look like I was confused because it would drop down. So I've literally got nothing on my brows at the moment. I've got no gel holding them in place. I've got no um, pencil. They're not tinted in any way, shape or form. And I'm super, super happy with them. They're probably going to fade over. Look at Alec looking back, looking at my brows. <laughs> um, shut up. That's what I've done, but this, look at the sky behind me. We've got a beautiful wood fire on in front of us. It's causing a bit of smoke over the over the field. It is truly magical. At this stage, I have a headband for every day of the bloody week. This is another another Clementine and Mint uh, black headband and I've teamed it with this Holland Cooper black watch cardigan, which arrived the other week and I am in love. It is the perfect cardigan for throwing on with leggings. Like when you're having a comfy at home day, it is so smart. And as you'll know, I'm really into like the more understated pieces of um, Holland Cooper and the more kind of like classic silhouettes. And this is just a real kind of classic, even with the slightly more like um, embellished buttons. I actually think because this is such a classic kind of cardigan, it actually elevates it just a little bit and gives it a bit of a bit more specialness. So I always feel really smart, even though I've literally got Tala leggings on, an into Miss Me cashmere um, base layer, a cashmere jumper, and then this cardigan. Because what we're actually going to do this evening is we're going to um, have a cheese board, like cheese and wine night, a backgammon, and then we're also going to have s'mores by the fire because it is such a mild November at the moment that it seems silly not to make use of the new terrace. So we're going to have s'mores on the terrace, which should be lovely. I'm about to test drive for the first time the Davenport, which is one that I picked up at Dalesford when I was with Carrie a couple of weeks ago. We did the wetting a, a tea towel and wrapping it around the glass bottle to put it in the freezer to make it cold because it hadn't been chilled because our wine cooler is broken for the millionth time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's worked. It's absolutely freezing. So I'm looking forward to trying this. If you haven't visited the Dalesford wine shop, they basically put it in where the florist used to be and it is absolutely beautiful and so much fun and everyone there is so helpful. So yeah, I'm gonna try the Davenport on Carrie Grayson's recommendation. And Ali went and got us our poppies for Remembrance Sunday. Obviously we had our um, minute silence on the 11th hour of the 11th day on the 11th month um, in remembrance. So I'm gonna be wearing this with pride this week for sure. And this is how most of our evenings finish with Mr. Min and Gordon in bed with the sausages. I'm in the doghouse again. Yeah, in the, in the doghouse. Best place to be. Barkley always takes himself off to sleep. Like he's just more than happy to just go to bed, leave the party and start snoozing. Whereas Porter will wait until the last waking moment to go to bed. He's been sat with us by the fire the entire evening. 
I'm disrupting him. I know. Oh, oh little. Get back in bed. <laughs> oh, look at these little toe beans sticking out. Little shiny toe beans. Oh, my angel boys.